Hello, folks. Do not adjust your set. I am Zyza Brick AQ Squirrel Moggington. Really? I swear. And, uh, tonight is just such a dragon heavy game that it tripped all my sensors. Uh, I'm not sure how to change back, so. I'm just gonna, uh, roll with this look for now. And we're gonna play Wonder Boy, the Dragon's Trap. Now. Obviously, this is a game that uh, I was a big fan of. The original release of Wonder Boy, back on the Sega Master System, was <laughs> really formational to young me. I had only really... I had played a lot of Nintendo games. And I played uh, some Altered Beast at a friend's house. And we picked up an old Sega Master System from... A video rental store and uh, after buying that Sega Master System I encountered Wonder Boy for the first time and this game was it was great I think this is the game that single-handedly flipped my alignment from Nintendo to Sega aligned and yes do not adjust your set I am still the uh, from Augington, you all know, I am simply in a different form for uh, the duration of this particular dragon-themed game. Also, man, this disease music freaking rules. I can say that every time and it's always correct. But yeah, um, the Wonder Boy series in general is all over the map. Like, I think the first one is actually just Hudson's Adventure Island, but with a different sprite for the protagonist. Uh, Wonder Boy 2, I don't know if I've ever played. Wonder Boy 3 is an absolute legend to me. After that, it's, like, Monster World 4, and that's the game that stars Asia and Pepe Lulu, or whatever his name is, the little blue, spike, squishy, bunny ball guy. And I love that game, too. And after that, the unofficial sequel is uh, Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom, which basically takes everything about Wonder Boy 3 and makes it a different game. A Metroidvania sort of thing. But this was a very uh, progressive feeling game for uh, the late 1980s. I I just really love it as well. I don't know. Anyway, after beating Lagoon yesterday, I didn't know what I wanted to play. So I just kind of dug through my library like, eh, maybe not that, maybe not that. Maybe I'll get stuck into UFO 50 later if anybody's actually interested in seeing that. But I had to, I saw this and I was like, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, I'm playing Wonder Boy. Uh, one of the servers you're in uses has their, that's good. I like that. Yeah, UFO 50, I've, like, I spent, uh, how long? I spent a couple of hours just sort of idly flipping through it. That's it. But I can already feel that I want to seriously sit down and play these games. And streaming would be an excuse for that, but I'm worried that it's such a big hit that it's an obvious no-brainer. Like... I don't know, it'd be like me playing Hollow Knight. If you need me here in 2024 to tell you that Hollow Knight is a good video game, uh, you are a fucking idiot who has been under a rock for the last 10 years or something. So, like, if you're paying attention to things, you probably don't need me to tell you about UFO 50. But I could still do it, I suppose. <laughs> I just can't think why. Anyway, Wonder Boy.
and just bring you all over here. I apologize for the enormous brick of text. Ah, uh, hey, my ears block different part of the text window. That's great. And let's pull up Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap. I think I have it muted. One moment. No, I do not. Okay. So, maybe flip to face the other way. Um, give me a minute. Let me just adjust my volume. Up a bit loud. Uh, flip to face the other way. Let me figure out how that would work. Ah, that's right. I forgot. You can uh, flip yourself over to Wonder Girl in this remake, which is nice. How would I do that? Um, I'm sorry. You've started a big production. Head group. Uh, here's my head. Yeah, I don't know how I would do that. Uh, I would probably have to transform, rotate. Oh, no, that's wrong. Oh, my God, I can see up all of your noses. I've got to... Uh, reset. Okay. How about flip horizontal? Ah, all right. Well, that looks really weird. That looks really weird somehow. I don't know. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. It's cool. I, I have a monitor over here. Anyway. Uh, starting a new save. Normal difficulty. She came for a piece of the action, and she means business. She has been roaming monster land, searching for the mecha dragon. Impeccable haircut. Yeah, I'll be Wonder Girl. Before you is the monster land. Overcoming various hardships, you have at last entered the monster's castle. Your target is the dreaded dragon's room. But unbeknownst to you is a fact. The dragon has the power to cast curses on his enemies. I think that's all the text we're getting. And this is the last dungeon from the uh, previous game, Wonder Boy 2. So, I immediately get smacked by a snake. Twice. There we go. All right, you can push a button to uh, go classic mode, too. Or change the soundtrack. Uh, happily, I'm not taking any damage from this because this is the tutorial. In the original game, I believe you could die in the tutorial. Yeah, this game was very much a labor of love. Uh, they did everything they could in this game. Lizard Cube worked their asses off, and I have nothing but love and admiration for them. Ah, I messed up. Ow. Alright, there we go. So, it turns out that the, this castle is a creature of darkness. And you have to take the right turns. Like, dropping down here. Oh my god, bat. Wrong way. So, this is what the game starts you out with. Is... You get back here so I can hit you with a sword. Is a weird maze. Uh, let's try going this way. Sure. 
And there it is, the Mecha Dragon's Chamber. Look at him. Isn't he lovely? He looks just as cool in the original mode. Believe me, I am looking at the dragon. I am looking respectfully at this incredible mecha dragon. Mogera. You get nut you get nudged around all over the place. And now we too are cursed to become dragon. You'll notice that we lost all of our hearts too. Oh yeah, I forgot the tail thing. I forgot. Oh It's in the original sprites too. Anyway, uh we gotta go. Yeah, like I said, um, sadly we have to uncurse ourselves, but wouldn't it be great if we didn't? Nothing in here does much damage, but once we're out in the actual world, we will get hurt. Oh. And if at any point you want to hear the original soundtrack for a while, uh, let me know. Well, this place is really on fire. Extremely on fire. Let's get out of here. Now, proceed with your adventurous undertaking. In Wonder Girl, the Dragon's Trap. So here we are back in the village. Yeah, how do I do dragon things in the dra- I know how I do dragon things. Wow, with a face like yours, I'd be looking for an antidote right about now. I love, uh, Wonder Dragon's expressions in these little... Alright, we can jump down a well. Unfortunately, we cannot swim. So this was a mistake. But we are now on the beach. The fir traditional first location for any Wonder game. The best sword you can afford. A mithril sword, a mithril shield, mithril armor. That's right, we are technically lizard man and not dragon. But, you know. I don't actually know if we can wield weapons. Uh, how do I get to my status screen? Oh, okay. Cheap ivory sword, probably illegal. I guess we can. Basic shield, rustic design. Basic armor, second hand. Ah, swords add to your fire attack power. How do you, uh... Swords add to your fire attack power. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's go with that. Well... 
let's um go ahead and boost our attack power. Whoops. Oh well. And what's down here? Oh. A chest! Extra heart! We're already stronger! Some dragons don't have wings, this is true. Uh, some dragons only have wings on occasion because they get heartburn. Here's the nurse's office. I like the nurse. You look funny. Your first shot is on me. I don't need to be cured right now. And we cannot get over these blocks, so it is time for us to go to the beach. Episode 1, the beach episode. Hello, nurse! Ah, uh, no. Wrong way. Equipment is useful for increasing your attack and defense points. Yep. We are probably going to grind until we can afford some armor and a shield. I did spend a lot of time working on my uh, Yakko Warner for a while there. Elite snakes are full of coins. And so are crabs. Um, honestly, Celine, besides, besides, like, original Metroid, which, you know, this was the second Metroidvania I ever encountered. And it was of an amazing scale and scope to me. Whoops. And I immediately fell in the water. Happily, fire works just fine underwater. Don't worry about it. We're just gonna burninate these artillery. fire pickups and some little uh, tornado pickups. Those are good for when you can't breathe fire for whatever reason, like you're in a different form. Uh, we now have 61 coins. That is a lot, actually. You have questions about burning things underwater? Don't worry about it. Just don't even worry about it. Like, like. Um, shit. I fell in the water again. Did not mean to do that. Please stop that. Yeah, how do you like it when someone blows fire on you, huh? Well, I don't like it much. Thank you. And, uh, for the record, I also really love the old-school dragon sprite, or the old-school lizard sprite, excuse me. He just looks so cranky about everything all the time. It's wonderful. He's a precious little creature. Alright, let me see if I can manage not to fall in the ocean again. Maybe I'll go this way. Uh, I'm almost dead. So, I died and I used a potion. Unfortunately, that's the only free potion I'm getting. So. I'm not actually all that great at this game in spite of loving it. Oh, I guess that's not the only free potion I'm getting. This 
fucking cloud, man. Um, this is what arrows are for, I believe. There we go. Of course, I used all my arrows. What's in here? Uh, cosplay as a goblin. No questions asked. Oh, man. The Master Shield. It doesn't help for lizard men, but... Sure. Goblin. To each his or her own. Alright. Goblin mail. That's a big jump in defense. What's in here? A key. Now I have to figure out where this key goes. I've forgotten. I've actually forgotten a lot of stuff about this game. Oh, ow. I've forgotten so much about this game. We will discover it again together. I just remember that I love it. Um, I forget what's in here, for that matter. Oh, that's the way back underwater. I don't need to go there. What I do need is to hit him somehow, and I think... Yeah, that is what the whirlwind is for. Ah! Oh well. I think I can just walk underwater back to the other screen. Yeah. Oh, wait. Monies! And stuff! That didn't get me out of the water, though. I'm gonna have to... Oh, well. Uh, believe me, tonight's stream will be exemplified by me failing to make platforming jumps. Mr. and or Mrs. Wonder have some, uh, real momentum to their weight. You can probably tell by, like, the, how long it takes them to stop moving and that little slide animation. Oh, oh, oh. They, have, they have a fair bit of momentum. And, uh, this puts some people off. I personally kind of like it. It does make... Precision platforming. Just that wee little bit harder. And it make, definitely makes jumping a little harder. There's an arc. Alright, what failure am I up to here? I actually am starting to wonder if I can make it out of here. I may just have to find a door that I'm forgetting about somewhere. Can I even... No, I can make that jump. I just had to complain that I didn't think I could make it. That's the way it works, you know? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Turns around and whacks me. Alright, so what's down here then? Oh, this is just straight up, you know, you can jump your way out. Juggle. These animals are trolling me. 
Uh, but I cannot jump up there. And that means that I'm going to have to find where that is above the water. It kind of dropped down there, I think. Whoa. Uh, the block looks suspicious. Good eyes, but I cannot yet interact with it, I don't believe. Alright, can I squeeze down here? Yep, yeah, I can. But I can't jump far enough to make this anything. I will have to come back when I've got a more, uh, swimmable form. But yeah, you can't break these and this. Later than the others in the only shell. Oh, here? Uh, no, that's just a design filigree. Yeah, it can throw you a little bit. Like, the higher graphic detail can be a bit frustrating at times, almost. Because you're used to thinking about stuff like that. Like, oh wait, is this anything? Well, it would have been if it hadn't been, like, 1989. They do look suspicious. Um, have I, have I been this way? Can't jump there. Okay. That's how I got down here. They look identical, but you... Well, that's fair. Uh, I think I will take the mineral shield. I'm sure it will last, he says. Alright. Now what? Uh, now I have a key, so I can open a locked door, like this one. And that takes me here. And now I'm out in the desert! With parallax scrolling! And motherfucking clouds! I'll get better at that, I swear. Anyway, the desert did not always have parallax scrolling. What an absolutely glorious dirt face. The Canyon. Ah, uh, these enemies are way too tough for us to go that way. Like, those enemies seem really hard. I'm gonna go the other way first. Yeah. When this remake started... Like, I heard that this little company called Lizard Cube was redoing, like, the game of my childhood. And I was... nervous. And then they started putting out, like, artwork. And I was like, oh, that's nice concept art. Why are you showing us so much concept- Oh shit, that's what the game looks like! <laughs> and, you know, and then they went on to remake uh, Streets of Rage 4, which I hear is great. I haven't played it yet. I probably should play it. And I'm eager to hear whatever they're working on next. I don't know what- they might be doing next. Um, can I... Ah, uh, nope, nothing down there. Well, there's a lot down there, actually, but I don't want to risk it right now. Ah, 
Ah, go fight some zombies, you sunflowers. soundtrack may be much, much more underrated than- ooh, big part. Because I think that the, uh, retro soundtrack is fine. Like, it's certainly not bad. But the modern soundtrack kind of rules. Well, you can go down the well. There's a door down there. I can't get to the door, though, because there's bouncies. What if I go this way? What were these originally? Huh. Kinda Oni-looking dudes. I wonder if they have an Oni fans. Also, I hope you like this one musical motif. Because you're gonna hear a lot of it. Chest! There's a key in the chest. Okay. And there's a locked door up there. Seems like a logical combination to me. The Pyramid Hall. And here's more of those frogs. But these frogs are less... fungy. Game 3. We've been hard at work on our third game. Stay tuned for announcements. I wish them the best and I hope, hope, hope so hard. That whatever they're working on comes through. And I mean, uh, right after this. Right after this game came out, almost. Well, not really. Uh, I was gifted with an English release of Monster World 4, which is fantastic. And I was gifted with Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom, which is a spiritual successor to this, and is impeccable. Still one of my games of all time. You're going to see it here uh, at some point, now that I've got this going. Now that you've got, now that I'm showing off context for it. I can't really hit that gargoyle head. Ow. Ow. What do the springs look like in original graphics? Like this. Oh, I really can't hit that gargoyle head. Okay. you can set the fire on fire? I'm not sure how that works. That may work even weirder than, like, the underwater. We set the fire on fire and we got some fire. Ow. Whoop! Yeah, that's not any clearer in the, uh, in the old version, is it? Walk through the- THE MUMMY DRAGON! 
This is, in fact, a dragon. It looks like a pig, but it's a dragon. Whoops, ow. Ow. I mean, let's be fair. Some dragons are orcish. Uh, he looks great in both forms, I think. He's got a little horn on his forehead. Uh, nope, he does have that in the original mode. I mean, in the, uh, remade mode. Ugh. I gotta stop being distracted by his, like, cute pig face. And actually fight him. Pardon me. Let me just pop a lightning there. Victory! We're cursed again! Let's go. Now, I am Mouse. And Wonder Mouse... ...can go up walls. A well-known thing that mice do. Now, oh, hello, Rat Sprite! Yeah, um... Mouse Wonder Boy looks... I guess he's got, like, Mickey Mouse ears. I prefer new version. Yeah, ceiling mice, that's a thing. Look at that bounce, though. Boing, 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 boing. Treasure chest. Money! Let's carry 10 billion gold coins! What's in here? Dancing shield. A nice fit for rodents. Acrobats of all size. Love it. And did you... <laughs> One moment. I want to go back in and, uh... I love... Look at that tiny little mouse sprite. It's so good. Return. And we're back in town. Uh, I don't think we need mithril armor. Let's buy it anyway. Check out the washing instructions. Oh. Whoops. That was the wrong button. Anyway, uh, now we can go up and over the wall. Approved by rats. Approved by dragons. Fit for feathered creatures. Captures hearts and thoughts. Um. Can't afford these. Well. It's just, this is so beautiful. Little glowing plasma balls. We can just pop these. Oh, God. Ah. Uh, 
Fuck this screen. Yeah, we're gonna die a lot in this screen. Uh... Okay, we can block those with our... Uh... <sighs> okay. Let's, um, just... Take this slow and careful. Ah! Money! And life! I found a secret up here! Whoop. Okay. Alright, what's anything over here? Nope, can't go off that way. So we're gonna have to slip behind... Um... Ow! Can I actually just stab you? Yes. Welcome to the jungle! Shogun Blade. Reliable. Made in Japan. Wow. Okay. How's my defense? Hmm. I'm gonna buy the sword, but I'm gonna let my defense slide for a little bit. I want to save up and try to buy the, uh... The prince armor. Can I get anywhere up here? No? Alright. No. You know what? Screw it. Fireballs. Uh, the mouse is really not your combat class. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Um... I think there's a secret here. Hold on. Well, there we go. I think one of these, there's a secret door or something. Could be wrong. No, I think I might be wrong. Well, I haven't checked here yet. Nope, no secrets. Okay. I admit it, between these pillars would be a great, a perfect place to hide something. And that's why I'm checking between each one of them. Facial expression is great, though. There are a lot of pillars here, actually. Surely one of them has something... ...to hide. Amazing. Oh well. I am not always correct. Just most of the time. 
And maybe one of these will drop a heart. Thank you. I was just asking for that. I love when a plan comes together. Well, now I have to check all of them, though, because I'm checking them and, and stuff. And if I don't check all of them, then I will forever wonder if I missed the one that had a hidden door. Oh, what are you guys doing? That is absolutely spikeless behavior. Must you... Bonk. Alright, that was my mistake. Momentum is very much a thing in this game. Oh! Sure! That may as well... You know what? No, I'm not even gonna. He! Anything up here? Yes! Anything way up here? Uh, no. The tower. <laughs> Happily mouse strong. Mouse indeed strong. So, I can usually just stab them to death in one shot. And free form and every enemy looks so perturbed to be here. They kind of do. It's a very cranky world. Magic, 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 magic potion. Nice. But yeah, um... Like, in this remake, we're inside of the treasure chest that's been pierced by weapons. In the original, it's just kind of a vaguely chest-shaped room. They put so much vision and, and stuff into the remake. Graphics. It's... And here, you know, it's just purple walls. But the purple walls do have an atmosphere. I gotta say, I love them both. Like, does the Lizard Cube version represent the artistic vision of the original creators? I don't fucking know. Yeah, what brought this to mind was the, uh, there's a lot of people bitching about the recent Soul Reaver reveal. Uh, they're re-releasing Soul Reaver 1 and 2, and they're kind of touching the graphics up a little bit. And a lot of people are really complaining about that. And, um... They've also made a big point out of how you can just walk between the original graphics and the remaster graphics at any time. So... I don't see the problem with a little bit of elaboration if you can just change back. I don't know. Maybe that one's just me. Oh no. Ghost Oni. Goni. Yep, that's what they are. Yeah, I like... I don't know. I like it. Yeah, it... The 
video games, man. I. Uh, please look forward to me streaming the new Lunar Eternal Blue and uh, what and Silver Star Story remakes when those come out. Uh, not remakes, remasters. I'm sorry. I will absolutely fucking stream the fuck out of those, and you can't stop me. Oh, right, they jumped. I forgot. <laughs> bounce, 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 bounce. Hyperkinetic little bastard. That dude is making his way downtown. Walking fast. And here you absolutely you have to, uh... Know you can block. Or else... You're kind of boned there. Now we go down the middle. trouble. Hopefully one of these dudes drops a heart, because, uh... Thank you! Every time I've asked for it, you guys have delivered. Uh, notice that if you catch the boomerang, you can keep it. I love that. And it kind of comes back. Oh, there goes another potion. That's a shame. That's basically an extra life. Now, there were some up here. Yeah, there's some up here. Ah. If it goes off screen, then you don't get to have the power up. And that blows. I got caught off guard by a fireball. That's embarrassing. Uh, what did the original music for this area sound like? It... I love the soundtrack to the, uh, to the updated version so much that it... It's actually a little hard to listen to the original anymore. Ah. Up we go. In this corner. All right, we made it to the center. The dragon zombie! Yeah. 
Yeah, you don't really get the good stuff. Wow. Okay. Okay, you can stop anytime. Yeah, he's, a, he's cute either way. I gotta give him that. Which is rare for the undead. The undead are usually completely repugnant. I think I'm fall I think I'm doing well with this boomerang thing. Uh, it's only taking one hit at a time though. This is gonna take forever if I use the boomerang. Unfortunately, I may accidentally kill myself by jumping into his face. I just have to make sure I'm doing it sword first. Also, maybe I should have bought a better sword. Oh well. go. Ah, I never get any of the money. Anyway, now we're a fish man. I kind of prefer the old sprite on the fish man, I'm not gonna lie. He actually looks like the creature from the Black Lagoon or something. But now we can swim. What's in here? A new heart. Three hearts. Uh, potion to restore health. No thanks. I'm saving. And that's... It's like they're trying to read a Dr. Bronner's label. Oh man, that... That one is... That's an impressive... <laughs> I like that. Alright, let's go ahead and take ourselves back. But, um... Anything in here? Nope, sold out. Alright, now we can go back to the beach. Good to see someone on my height again. This place has been a circus lately. That is definitely a face like he's trying to read up. Oh, this is a... Right, I forgot. Password system. Heh. I completely forgot the password system was ever a thing in this game. Now, if we could only get up here, but we can't. What's down what's in here? Money! I'm being showered with money left and right. And here's the beach. And you remember we couldn't go this way? Now we can. Aqua shield. Perfect for looking good underwater. Well, that's something we need to do. It doesn't rust when it rains. Wait. 
Schatz. Fishman, however, cannot duck. Apparently, probably because he has no knees. I don't know. Do fish have knees? Also can't do anything with those. Uh, is there anything down here? I think of it. I don't remember if there's anything down here that we haven't already seen. Forgotten where I'm headed. Oh, the master shield. Dang. I can't afford the master shield. Shopping, please. That's all he says. Uh, I could if I stopped in ground for a little while. I don't really want to do that. Oh, yeah, I've already emptied the chest. Guess I'm headed back. Alright, maybe if I can... Yeah, I think I might be able to hit 1980 in just a couple of sweeps. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try. We are making more money than I remembered from this. And who wouldn't want something called the Master Shield? The people who made this remake sure could, probably. Retro mode. Like you hit a crab and it makes the most audaciously pissed off face. Why did I just use the word bodaciously? I apologize for that. I was not in my right mind at the time. There we go. The brush is sold separately. And now we can equip the Master Shield. Uh, is that actually better than anything else we have? No, it is slightly worse than what we have. Uh, every shield and every bit of weapon and armor, I think has different stats for different people.
All new areas and songs were composed on the Act Razor Super Famicom soundtrack first and upgraded. Rather than backboarded to be authentic. Yeah. Yuzo Koshiro does that a lot, if I recall. I think he's still got all of his, uh, PC... 98? 88? Stuff hooked up. I know he loves to show it off on Twitter. Ninety-eight? Okay. Yeah, I mean, he composes basically everything on that thing. Communicating. But no. And I can't get up there now, so. Alright, where to now? Um. I can't climb walls anymore, so not over there. Is it down here, maybe? I... I don't seem able to get into... This area. There we go. Uh, is it down here? Whoops. No. Nothing down here. Well, then, by process of elimination... Now, oh, that's the way to the beach. Uh, can I still open this door? Yes. Alright. Let's try up here. Oh, this is the way to the desert, isn't it? Yeah. Now that we're, uh, beefed up a little bit, let's try heading this way. Yeah, and the snakes have the same kind of, uh, dirt face when you stab them in the old school. Work has been rude not letting you watch it. Well, we'll watch it later. Uh, I will happily rewatch with you. I'm getting bullied by frogs is what I'm- is what's happening to me. Oh my goodness! I don't think I can swim in the lava. Well, I'm gonna f- ow! Okay, I can swim in the lava. I'll be damned. Fish are powerful. Okay, that's bad. Well, that's not so bad, actually. Well, it hurt, but...
now. Ah! Unclock. No, wait, wait. I made it. I made it. I'm great. Everything's good. A little bit of health. A little bit more health. Big lots. Where does this take me? I am mistrusting. Oh, health. I mean, chest. Fun! And lightning. Fun thunder, lightning. Scaly and immune to lava. Dragons can be fashion victims. It's true. Did you burn your skin off or are you just happy to see me? That's not sexy, ma'am. That's creepy. Anyway, now I'm immune to lava. Okay, goodbye. There you are again. I'm getting trash. And it's a miracle to me that my health is barely dropping. Oh my god. Oh, I'm leaving. And that gorgeous volcano isn't even there in the original, which hurts me in my soul. On the altar of dragon. I'm now a dragon again. Yay! Oh. Well, that's fine. Now I can't swim. I have actually managed to box my. There we go. I forgot that can happen. So now we're so now we're mouse again. And that means we can go up these walls. And I don't remember what that is. Thunder Ring! Uh, I forget what the Thunder Ring does. Doesn't really say. Ah. You gotta set yourself up with the, uh... Right armor for the job. And then you have to... Oh, right. the Thunder Ring! Right! The Thunder Ring lets you break blocks. I forgot about that. We can now get through those blocks. Like these blocks. Alright, fish. 
And back in this, uh, they didn't even have All right, I'm going back to fish for now. Let's see what's in here. Return to town. Mm. Have I gotten everything I... Well, it's too bad if I didn't. I can't leave again. No, I fucked up. I fucked up. <laughs> Okay. I need- I think I need to be... Ah, uh, what should I go for? I want to go for Dragon. But that's not actually helpful. Like, it does give me a ranged attack, but that's it. I think what I need to do is go back to Mouse. Or Rat. And then I can climb another wall in the village. Actually, can I climb a wall back out here? No. Alright. Return! To the past! Alright, I just remembered that I never went up here in mouse form. And climbed this. Crystal sword, crystal shield, crystal armor. Shit, I'm poor. I may have to sit and grind for money for a while at some point. Hmm. But I can't attack downwards. All right, maybe I should have stayed in, uh... Maybe I should have stayed in, uh, fish form. We're going back down here. We're going back to the beach. If we're tall enough to make it, yeah, we are. somewhat random. Sometimes you get, like, two coins. Sometimes you get, like, twelve. I say, just because it shows twelve. That was impressive and unintentional. I, ha I had to have stayed a fish. Looks like we're walking back. Oh well. Sometimes such things happen. Those snakes completely loom over, like, Mouse Wonder Boy. It's kind of hilarious. Okay, it was up here, all the way through the desert. Which will be less of a problem now that we're lava proof. I hope. Well, I wasn't talking about grinding for money anyway. Uh, the more we faff about and I get lost and shit, the more money we have.
Get stabbed on. Get stabbed on. But yeah, I really remember playing this for the first time on the Master System and being like, wow, uh, I don't think I've ever seen a game that does this. You can transform into things, and transforming into things matters. And I mean, at the time, yeah, I had played like Little Nemo for the NES, and that was maybe the only other example I could think of. And even then, you're not really transforming, you're just wearing a fursuit. Or, you know, if you're one of those dark, depressing people, you're wearing the skin of an animal. But... Nope. Nope. There we go. Nope. And it doesn't really matter if I fall in, I can just stab them. Hike on through. Ow. Right! Fireballs come down, too. They go up and they come down. I forgot that for a minute. Crazy wall jump bullshit did you just pull, man? Whoops, I missed the boomerang. I'm not even gonna try. Now they did add a few new things to this game when they uh, ported it over. Well, when they remade it, I guess. But we really haven't gotten a chance to see any of that stuff yet, and uh, if my memory is as bad as it is, we might not get a chance to see the stuff they added. I've totally forgotten where it all is. Alright. Now we... can't get to the transformation thing. That was a waste of time. Ah! Surely I didn't just seal myself out of everything, did I? No. But I did make a mistake, clearly. That makes me sad. All right, well, let's head on back to town. Well, I said we had to grind for money, and we went off and we ground for some money. That's what this was, I guess. A money expedition. Hopefully I'm not gonna die. I don't remember how this game handles death. Well, we do have a horde of skeletons chasing us. Well, I honestly don't believe that you can softlock yourself in this game. So that means that there's somewhere to go that I don't remember where it is.
That's sold out. Cure. Yeah, right. I need it. Please get hurt and come back soon. Thanks, ma'am. Well, we had to pay out a little bit for the privilege of healing, but I think it was worth it. Or I could get a heart drop from the very next enemy I stab and and then get slapped around by a big green dude who then drops a heart when I, well, zero sum game. I want more money. I just want so much money. Stop giving me fireballs, for the love of God! Alright, a tornado is acceptable. Oh, heck with it. So I'm trying to imagine where we should be going. Whoa. Well, it looks like I get to find out what happens when you die. Game over. Or is it? Uh, we do not start again with a potion, but we do start again with no magic whatsoever. That hurts a little bit. Uh, I heard the house next door needs some refurbishing. I'm trying to remember where we're supposed to go, honestly. It may be the house next door, but, uh... Now that we're mouse size again, we can walk up here. And that'll take us back out to the jungle. Right, we should, uh... Let's keep grinding. I don't know. Um, have I been through the pyramid? Y yes, I think so. That is the very first dungeon you go through. Or the very second, maybe. Well, I guess I could go back and take a look. In mouse form. I can't remember if there's a reason to, but we could always head back out that way. No, I cannot reach this guy yet, and uh, no spoilers, please. <laughs> anyway, I can't reach it, uh, yet. I'm, I'm going to be able to, probably as soon as I get the next, uh, the next pickup. Anyway, I'm gonna see if there's anything out here in the desert that I can do with mouth form. I don't remember there being anything, but... Yeah, if nothing else, we're getting money. Money's important. Oh, right, I forgot about these. If I were the fish, that would actually be useful. I forgot about that. No, I cannot, uh... I can't stab down. I don't have a down stab.
That comes later. Well, let's check in here. Since I can't change forms yet. Because of the... The heights I have to scale. version, actually. Okay, here's something. We haven't been through this door. There is... money. Just money. And some magic. And a potion. Okay. reason to be out here in the desert. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Aside from getting juggled by clouds. Alright, uh, maybe I'll go back to the... Yeah, and I can't really do anything with that, uh, door there either. I've been in here. I've gone all the way through. Let's go through again, just to be sure. where I got cursed to be a mouse in the first place. Ow. Ah! Actual pharaoh heads. I forgot to check that out. Mummy Dragon's room. And then you go back out. So... Huh. I never really... I 
never really thought that my, um, complete inability to navigate would affect me in this game. Like, this is one that I had some really fond memories of. And apparently those memories just don't cover what to do if you accidentally fuck yourself over. Hold out. Go back to town. But then it sort of got really awkward and embarrassing. House next door needs some refurbishing. Maybe that is a tip to, you know, hop back in here. just takes me down to the beach. Doesn't go anywhere important. Alright, maybe it does go somewhere important. Um, oh, here we go. Yeah. I... That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing, I totally missed that. Alright, now we have fish power. Where was I gonna use that? Right, we have to break the blocks down here. On the beach. money. Every little bit helps. Thank you for your donation to the Fishman cause. Well, it's not this. Next screen over, I guess. Alright, where was it? I, there was a bunch of blocks that you break, and then you swim through a gap. Where was it? Wait a minute. There's another breakable block up there. I can't get to it. Uh, using power-ups on it wouldn't help. You have to break it with your sword. So that's interesting to me. That's something I should try to remember. What's in here? Oh, underwater. Okay. Where was it? Not over here. Maybe it's over this way. I recognize that it's on the other screen. Anyway, he's got like boneless ankles. Yep, there it is. Alright, we're back on track. As soon as I stop being held hostage by this fucking crap. Okay. 
deeper into the thing. Check everything for secrets, you know? Now, even if it kills you. Well, there are those go. Uh, Silver, I read that as Are You Crap Yet? No, sorry for your loss. I am seasick of healing fish all day. Hello. I don't need the- I don't want the cure. I- I'm saving money. Besides, she's sick of it. Who am I to tell her otherwise? Shipwreck. Okay. Ugh. The Yogi Boogie Man. Also, I think I'm gonna die in here thanks to those guys. They tend to pop up a little too suddenly, you know? Oh god, really? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die right now. Nope, nope, yes. Potion to butt. Ugh. They suck. Uh, can I go this way? No. Yeah. And I'm dead. <sighs> Here's where it gets rough, folks. I may need to save up for new armor. Focus on my flashlight. No, I'm busy. Relax. Not now, Maya. Watch the changing focus. I have to not grind, happen. Maya. You're not here. This isn't happening. I'm totally a here. A dream. A dream of your subconscious. My subconscious is Watch having a bad time. Alright. We're going back through and down. Don't land. Maya is... A 3D rendering program that some people use for... I'm sorry, I don't know where I was going with that. I'm going to get exploded. Alright, I can't actually see where I would grind. Or, I mean, like, what I would grind for, uh, store-wise, so. Like, we'd have to hike all the way back out into the desert again, or into the lava volcano. Sounds like a fucking classic game rooms bit. We're grinding inside a lava volcano! 
The Lava Volcano is located in the R Zone. Unaware, a uh, classic game room was a YouTube show I used to be a pretty big fan of. Um, had the tagline that broadcasting from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on a mission to review everything. And they really tried to review everything. And then they ran into some money problems and YouTube's monetary practices got to them and uh, they canceled the show, they uncanceled the show, they ran some Kickstarters, they re-uncanceled the show, they tried Amazon. I think they're back again? I'm not sure. I don't know. At this point, I kind of washed my hands of the whole thing, but I still love those old classic episodes. Is this just gonna take me back at the beach? No, treasure. An extra heart, that'll help. A classic game room was critical as hell sometimes. But also had like a huge sense of Uh, like, they were doing the, gold, the game Golden Axe Beast Rider. And Golden Axe Beast Rider is, by any metric, a pretty shitty game. But, they decided that because it was such an obviously, like, lackluster game, they were going to rate it on the things that it did best. Uh, cutting people in half and setting them on fire. And that game had a lot of really good cutting people in half and setting them on fire but to do it. So if you want a game where you can cut people in half and set them on fire, Golden Axe Beast Rider is great for that. If you want like a playable video game, it's really not. Alright, I think I got this. Stab forward, block, stab. I mean, I think it was highly advanced sarcasm. I, I think you guys are being way too nice to the idea, but... You know, whatever you want to believe. a lot of you did a lot of stabbing sir why do you take so much stabbing what kind of bulletproof loincloth are you wearing man oh ow i got juggled i'm getting jug i'm getting juggled and i lost Oh well. Oh, I'll come back with a potion this time. That could help. <sighs> Alright, we are almost at the end of our session. So what are we gonna do? I'm gonna walk back out towards the lava area. We're gonna see if I can upgrade any equipment. And then I will probably let you folks go for the night. 
But we're gonna have a couple of days of this. I'm not upset about that. Don't really think any of you are either. Like, what else would I be playing? Well, there's a lot of choices, actually. I very nearly put in Robot Alchemic Drive. Uh, I just didn't feel like I was capable of covering that one in particularly lavish detail, and also I don't know how well it emulates. So I have to run some emulation tests. But, uh, Robot Alchemic Drive is very high on my playlist now that I've remembered that it exists. Yeah, now that this is a few years old... Ah! Really? Alright. Now that this game is a few years old, um... You can probably get it on a Steam sale for cheapish. You might want to. Who knows? Then again, you might get everything you need to see out of this playthrough, and if that's so... Um, okay. <laughs> oh, it's already cheap on launch? Yeah, I think so. I don't remember paying too much for it. You know what I need to do? I need to buckle down and buy, like, the Monster Boy, uh, collection for the Switch. There's a really high-quality looking Monster Boy co- ah! There's a really high quality looking Monster Boy collection for the Switch, and uh, I haven't bought it yet, and I really should before it becomes like a $160 collector's item or some shit. Man, I need better armor. I really do. I am literally just Taking damage, Alpha Wazoo. Yeah, I need better armor. Wait. Oh, right! Um, the Aqua Shield is for Piranha Man. That's a big boost. Ow. Right in the back of the head. Is there a store here? There's a store here. No. It was already cheap on launch. Yeah! I don't remember paying much for this, but I... I wanted to. I almost double bought it. Yeah, it's only a big boost to defense if you can actually, you know, block with it. Remember, you can have the best sword in the world, and somebody can stab you with, like, a pencil and kill you. That's how Musashi Miyamoto died. I made that up. I made that up right now. I'm back here. Okay, this is the transport. Um, uh, did I need mouse form to get to a store here? I'm no longer afraid to transform since we unlocked the, um... Since we unlocked a transformer in... That one place, the village. Alright, the dancing shield is for rodents. Was it up here? 
No, this is a chest. This was where we got the Thunder Ring. Okay, I'm dumb. I am lost, and I have no GPS system internally. Amazing! I have no internal GPS whatsoever. Let's see if we can mouse our way over here. I think there's an equipment upgrade in this door. Right, the Prince Armor! Yeah, alright. Love makes you live longer. That's true. Plus special. Captures hearts and thoughts. Uh, when I moused on a wall, I only attack sideways. So I can- oh, fuck me. All right. What's down here? Yeah, I... <sighs> All right, when next we meet, we'll go down there and see what, what's down there. And... I don't remember how to save my game. Happily, it looks like that's fine. Okay. Uh, have we unlocked any art? We have. This was my phone's lock screen for a long time. This is the only piece of art I've ever put on my on my phone. That is a happy fish man. Temporarily. I don't know what this says. If you know what this says, um, let me know. Oh. That is so good. All the art in this is so good. Here's all the potential fishmen. I love that they have a, um... A little arrow that's like, cool shape! Like, yeah, dragon heads are shaped cool. The nurse, the pig, splash art for the bosses we've beaten, animated gif. They had to decide how, like, scrunchy to make the mouse. I think they went with maximum scrunchy, and I think that was the correct choice. Uh, there's a ton of art that we haven't unlocked yet. Uh, area concept art. Good sketches. You can do that?
Somehow it never occurred to me that you could just put your fingers all over a violin like that. Oh man, there are a lot of these. There are a lot of these little soundtrack ones. Audio, so yeah. We'll be back with more Wonder Girl the Dragon's Trap tomorrow. Thank you for showing up, folks. I hope you had a good time. Just gonna take a quick glance at Twitch. See if there's anybody we want to raid into. Ah, let's see. There's Kelvin again, but... I think I'm just gonna let you folks go for now. You all should have a good night, and I'll uh, see you later.